Is that that's better? Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Grassley, Ranking Member Feinstein, and all, all the committee members. Uh, I, want, I want to thank Senators Kennedy and Cassidy for the introduction uh, of my wife and children. Um, I have many other family here, including my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, and numerous others from Louisiana and elsewhere. Uh, too many to mention by name, and I'm, but I'm grateful for their presence. Um, Senator Kennedy, something that you said just caused me to pause. Uh, I'm grateful for this hearing, and it sounds like from your opening comments that you were disrespected in this process, and I deeply regret that. Um, I, am, I deeply respect the advice and consent that you and your fellow committee members will give on these nominations, and I'm delighted to be here to answer your questions, sir. Um, I would like to thank the President for nominating me to a seat on the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit. Uh, the Fifth Circuit is home to me. Um, I've represented the state of Louisiana and other parties in that court many times, and I've had what I, I think is probably the unique honor of being a lawyer for all three states in the Fifth Circuit, as Senator Cassidy pointed out. Um, I started my career in the Texas Solicitor General's Office. Um, I was a law professor at the University of Mississippi, uh, and I was the appellate chief of the Louisiana Department of Justice or the Solicitor General of Louisiana. I'm profoundly grateful uh, to be nominated to a seat on this great court. Um, like you, like, and like Senator Kennedy, I clerked for uh, a wonderful Fifth Circuit judge in um, Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, in the time I have remaining, I'd like to recognize some people who are not here today. Um, first, as I mentioned, Judge John Dewey Jr. Uh, was the judge I clerked for on the Fifth Circuit. Uh, as, as I understand it, he is caring for a sick family member and could not be here. Uh, he was a wonderful judge. Um, who's taken senior status and has really profoundly influenced my life and my professional career. Um, second, I'd like to recognize my, my wife's mother, Lois Dreher, who passed away unexpectedly in 2009 um, and um, who is very much missed by her family. Third, I'd like to recognize my friend and my mentor, Greg Coleman, uh, who was the Texas Solicitor General, the first Texas Solicitor General, um, and I worked for him as a young attorney. Uh, Greg was a superb attorney. He was a good friend and mentor to me. He died tragically in a plane crash a few years ago. Uh, and I know he's missed by his wife and his three sons. Uh, I got to see his son Reed the, just the other day uh, for the first time in many years, and it brought back a lot of memories. Uh, finally, uh, I'd like to recognize my grandparents. Uh, on my dad's side, my grandparents from North Louisiana were Charles Duncan and June Green. Uh, on my mom's side, my grandparents were Vince and Sarah Nola. Uh, they were remarkable people. They've passed away in the last few years. Uh, they're, they're very much missed. They showed me a, a great love and kindness when I was growing up in Baton Rouge. And I'd like to just specially recognize my grandfather, Vince. Um, here's a man whose parents immigrated to Louisiana uh, in 1905. I saw the manifest of the ship um, uh, from Italy. And uh, my grandfather, Vince, he was called VJ by his family. He supported uh, his wife and seven children as a roofer uh, in South Louisiana. Uh, and I think I've worked hard in my life, but I've never worked nearly as hard as my grandfather did on any given day. Uh, he was a great man, an intelligent man, although he had to leave school in the eighth grade. Uh, and he was a role model for me. And I know that if he can see us here today, he'd be proud of me. Um, and so with that, uh, I want to thank you again for holding this hearing, uh, and I look forward to answering your questions.